Welcome back to my Catalina 27 channel. I'm stripping the varnish off a piece of teak and holly I got from my friend's Catalina 42 when he replaced his floor and cut it to size. I used the Eastwood D coat because it seemed like it was a bit gentler than the normal paint stripper. I let it sit for about 30 minutes. It seemed to lift the butt, lift a bit of it off and scraped it up. And as soon as I started scraping, I could tell it hadn't gotten, it hadn't penetrated all the, all the varnish. So I put another coat on there, a really thick one. Yeah, probably twice as thick as the first one. I uh, just put it on with a foam brush and left it as wet as I could, could get it without it dripping off the sides. And I let it go off for about 40 minutes. And it looked like it wasn't uh, lifting much, so I kept wiping it. And after about an hour and a half, I could tell it had lifted as much as it was going to, as far as the varnish goes. Took my uh, nylon putty knife and started scraping. And as soon as, I, as soon as I started scraping, I could tell I was on raw wood. After I was done scraping, I hit it with the oxalic acid peak brightener. You can see how that works in the previous video and uh, rinse it off again, let it dry. And there's still some discoloration, but I gotta sand it still. Put some 220, so hopefully that'll take care of that. It's just a really thin veneer, so I didn't really go too hard with the sander. Just sanded it down as much as I dared, and then rinsed it off. Let it dry again and start it on with the teak oil. Lots and lots of teak oil. As soon as I was done with one, one end, the end I started on was already looking dry, so I kept wiping it. And uh, let that sit for about 15, 20 minutes and wiped it off with a, uh, not really clean, but dry towel, dry rag. And uh, it was all right, but I wanted it a little darker, so I, I did another coat, wiped that off, and wanted it, still wanted a little bit darker, so I put another coat of teak oil on there, let it sit for five minutes, and uh, wiped it off, and uh, buffed it up as best I could. Let that dry. Then I turned it over and put a coat of epoxy on the bottom, that's going to be sitting over the bilge, which is always a little wet. Got some water in it from the uh, stuffing box drip. And uh, yeah, that's it for the wood. The rest of it's just bulkheads and stuff, and I'll do that at a later date. Uh, next week, I start on the, it's a Seaward Hill of Range stove. So uh, see you next week. For that, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, see ya.